yourself a favor and read next wave hey what's up you guys shardums prime here doing another marvel legends action figure review on the marvel legends vintage collection retro carded hercules try to get your marvel legends you can do so big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below and while you're down there i ask you to please hit that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and i feel like we just got a hercules but this is the classic hercules right over here get a nice image right over there it says golden mace in multiple languages and then nothing on the side around the back you'd see in purple it says hercules there's the read up over there go ahead and pause it right now and then nothing on this side top or bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> And here's Hercules out of the packaging. And yeah, I always have to have the Hercules flexing. You gotta, it's our Hercules, right? Anyway, I like how the figure looks so far. We don't get too many accessories. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So we get two head sculpts with this figure and we get these two sets of hands, fisted hands and golden mace holding hands. And then you have the golden mace laced with adamantium, which I don't know how that makes sense. Cause if it was laced with adamantium, wouldn't it look more silver looking? But anyway, I do like the green paint right over here. It looks pretty solid. I'm seeing maybe minor swirling in this gold plastic but not too much i do like it and then get a nice brown little loopy right over here and then you can see we get the fisted hands and the weapon holding hands with the veins on the back <laughs> So just like how we have Thor based off of the Greek god from Norse mythology, we have Hercules over here based off of the Greek mythological demigod. And I always felt like he was the older brother or younger brother that Thor should have always had. I really like the character. He's fun. I mean, I don't know a crazy ton about him, but I really do like Hercules. I have a few comics with him in there, and I really like this head sculpt a lot. I really like how the teeth came out and the smile and the beard. Everything looks good over here. You get some nice color variation in the hair. And the gold plastic right here looks really good as well. So I really like this. Then we have the meaner head sculpt, yeah, which is not my favorite of the two. You can see the white paint in the teeth just looks a little overdone. Maybe if they had some pink for the gums right there. And I just like the smiling head sculpt a lot more, but uh, I have another problem with this one. And that is, don't freak out, but oh my God, yeah, the, the hair, uh, the glue came out from underneath here. So you can see I have to just add some glue and get that on there. But yeah, a little unfortunate, but not the biggest deal in the world because that's an easy fix, just applying some glue. And it's not even my favorite head sculpt of the two. Looking at the rest of the figure, you can see that we get this new strap right over here with the metallic green on each of those buttons. I like that, or those knobs anyway. And then we are used to this upper torso. We saw it with the last Hercules figure. I like how they've added the deco, or I appreciate how it was added right here for the hairy arms. You get this new wristband on each side looking pretty good. You get the nice looking belt. I thought this was going to be too long looking from the promo images. It's just kind of like an optical illusion or something with this waistband over here. Uh, you always try to keep that, you know, above uh, the shorts right over here so you could rotate around. But there's a Hercules butt. Then we get these new legs with the pinless joints and yeah people that get frustrated with the pins here and no pins there i can understand that but for me personally it doesn't really frustrate me but it's it's a thing that's there man but yeah these look really good get some gate marks on those hinges right over there on the very back it's just a minor minor thing you can see that we get the leathery detail right over here so i really dig that and then you get those hercules toes there you go hercules toes <laughs> gross and then you can see we get peg holes at the bottom of the feet so the proportions look pretty good right honestly i'd like to know what you think in the comment section below but anyway you can move the head upward that much and you can move it downward i did switch on the smiley face you can turn the head side to side and not much head pivoting just a little bit of wobbling shoulders will move outward that far inward that much you could rotate a full 360 bicep swivel you get the double jointed elbows that do bend in a little more than 90 degrees both or all hands move side to side and hinge up and down you get an ab crunch forward uh, if you shift this belt down a little bit you can really get the ab crunch moving that far downward that far back and then to shift it back upwards a little bit you get the waist cut right there hips move outward that far he'll kick forward that much back a little bit upper thigh cut you get these fairly stiff 
double jointed pinless knees. Be very careful with these. I recommend heating them up with a hairdryer or something because if you try to bend these in by using the calf or putting pressure on you know this whole lower part of the leg, you may break that calf joint. So be careful. You get a calf swivel and then the ankles do move down. They do move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out the height of this Hercules figure, you can see that it is standing right at about seven inches tall. Then for your Hercules comparison, you can see we have our Dark Days of Marvel Legends Hasbro Hercules and then we have our more recent contemporary Hercules from the 2015 run. Is that right? Uh, let's see if my memory serves correct. But anyway, uh, you can see a lot of similar body parts right over here. They do have a lighter flesh tone with this one and this one's, oh my gosh. Yeah, that weird orange color and then the green veins or whatever color that is supposed to be. It's just really weird, but yeah. I'm glad we have an updated classic version right over here. But being honest, back in the day, this was actually one of the better Hasbro figures. Yeah. Oh, and I can't head swap with this one, but if you really wanted to see a head swap between these two, I mean, yeah, you could see that, you know, just if you're curious. I guess the flesh tone, eh, it's not too drastically different. Could work if you want this setup. Here's the new Hercules figure next to the 80 years Thor. And I gotta say, I don't like that the eyeline on Hercules is a little bit lower than Thor. Wish he was just a little bit taller. When we bring in the older Hasbro Hercules, you can see that they are a little bit closer to the same height. Right. Then here's Hercules next to the new Tigra figure, which I have not reviewed yet, but stay tuned during the week. I'll post a review on Tigra. Then here's Hercules next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man and no stop motion today, but I will have a Death of Big Time Badass Spider-Man long stop motion video coming to the channel fairly soon. Stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you're in a position to do so, check out the Tron link in the description below this figure is very cool i can't really complain about it like the thing that i was concerned about doesn't really concern me now that i have it in hand the figure looks really cool it's fun to pose around uh, the accessories are exactly what i need you get your weapon holding hands you get your fists you get the golden mace so it's like i can't complain over here i think this is a dope ass figure well i did complain about the height a little bit but i think that's a nitpick oh and the hair coming off that wasn't something i wanted to have happen to the figure so that's another complaint uh, but still an easy fix i like the way it looks it's a very fun figure to have and at the price point of around 25 bucks i'm gonna give this hercules figure a sud rating of i love it and i'd like to know what you guys think because we do have two other hercules figures did you pick up one of those and you're like ah, i'm good don't need this one or is this like the hercules for you for me personally this is the hercules for me so let me know what you think in the comment section below if you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media you can find me on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will catch you guys later peace <laughs>